Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to go over how to code external cause codes as well as codes for poisoning, toxic effects, adverse effects, underdosing, and overdosing. So let's go ahead and first look at the front of your CM code book, the index to diseases and injuries. Remember that behind the neoplasm section, right behind the neoplasm table, is another table. It is the table of drug and chemicals. So just like our neoplasm table, you use this the same way where you find your substance in the very left hand column, then you determine what kind of accident or poisoning, adverse effect, etc. it was at the top. So our column choices are poisoning accidental, poisoning intentional, poisoning assault, poisoning undetermined, adverse effect, and underdosing. So let me explain these. Poisoning accidental is when somebody takes a substance not meaning to do harm to themselves. Poisoning in in intentional is like a suicide attempt or where the person's actually trying to cause self-harm. Poisoning assault is when another person is poisoning that patient. Poisoning undetermined is when the physician has documented that it is undetermined. Adverse effect is when the patient takes the substance exactly as prescribed and their body reacts adversely to it. And underdosing is when the patient does not take enough of the medication, does not take the prescribed amount, takes less than, and has an adverse effect. So that's how those columns work. So for example, let's say we took acetaminophen and broke out in hives. We would code the diagnosis of hives as normal. Then we would come here to the table, come to acetaminophen, and go over to adverse effect since we took the medication as prescribed but our body didn't like it. And we would assign T39.1X5. We would then go to the index or the tabular, sorry, and go to T39X15. or 1x5, T39, 1x5, it tells us that we need a seventh character. Remember, those you can always find at the beginning of the category. So our category is the first three digits, first three numbers. So T39, if we go up here, the seventh character is to be added to each code from T39 or either A for the initial encounter, D for the subsequent encounter, or S for sequela. So if this was our patient's first time coming in with the, these hives, we would do T39.1X5A. Okay, now back to the alphabetical index. Directly behind the table of drugs and chemicals is the external cause index. So the external cause index is where you look up the type of injury cause. So if a patient was in a motor vehicle accident, if they were at a rodeo and bored by, um, gored by a bull, if they fell off a ladder, if they were jet skiing and wrecked, if they were on a boat and got injured, if they were out in the elements and got frostbite, whatever caused the injury, you come here to show the cause of the injury as well as the place. There's also place of occurrence to show where the person was injured. Was it at an amusement park, a boat, different kinds of houses, apartments, mobile homes, the wilderness, I encourage you guys to look through all these external causes to get familiar with what, what there are. Um, an alligator bite, an insect bite, a snake bite. 
There's also activities. If the patient was doing something specific like playing baseball, then if our patient was playing baseball, we would code Y93.64 as the activity. If we know the activity the patient was doing when they were injured, you would code the activity as well. So let's just do an example of this. Let's say that our patient was driving in his car and on the highway ran into a deer and wrecked his car and got whiplash. So again, we would code the diagnosis of the whiplash normal just by using our regular index. Then we would also code the accident of the patient running into a deer. So let's find this together. We would go to accident and then we're gonna go to transport. After we get to transport, we're gonna go to car. And then we're gonna pick car occupant because we wanna show who was in the car that was injured. So our patient was the driver and our patient had a collision with an animal in traffic because a highway is a traffic location. So we would code V40.5 and then the check mark again tells us we need additional characters. So let's flip to the tabular and look at V40.5. Okay, V40.5, car driver injured in collision with pedestrian or animal in traffic accident. So this is telling us we need a seventh character, which is right up here to pick from. So we put our X's, that check mark is telling you to use X's as placeholders until you can add the seventh character. So because we have V40.5, that's four characters, so we need to add an X for character five, character six, and then we're gonna add the A for our seventh character. So our code would be V40.5, X, X, A. Okay, now I uh, wanna show you a place. So let's go back to our index, and let's say our patient was injured in the kitchen of her mobile home. So we're gonna go back to, to our external cause index. We're gonna to go to P, to place of occurrence. From there, we're gonna to go to residence. Then residence, it is a mobile home and specifically the kitchen of a mobile home. So we would have Y92.020. Now you always want to verify, so let's go look at the tabular, Y92, zero, two, zero, it's right up here. Mobile home is the place of occurrence and then kitchen in the mobile home is the place of occurrence. So we know that's correct. There's not any additional characters to add, so that would be our code. Okay, so I want to do a practice both from this and from the table of drug and chemicals, just to make sure you guys are okay with these codes. So let's do the table of drug and chemicals first. So I'll give you the scenario and go ahead and pause the video. When you're done looking up the code, unpause and see if you have the correct answer. So we have a three-year-old toddler who was brought in by the mom who took the mom's Envoid prescription. That is spelled E-N-V-O-I-D. So get, go ahead and pause the video, see if you can find the code, and then unpause when you think you have it. Okay, so hopefully you picked T38.4 X1A. So T38. Four X one A poisoning by oral contraceptives 
accidental, unintentional, so it's a poisoning by oral contraceptives not otherwise specified. So to look that up, we would have went to our table of drug and chemicals. And once we got here, we would go to E to find uh, Inovid. Then we would go over to the poisoning and see the T38.4X1. Okay, the next scenario I want you to look up. Our patient has a laceration to her forehead when she was struck by a thrown baseball at a baseball field. So just to give you a hint, there's three codes for this one. One for the laceration, one for the struck by the baseball, and one for the baseball field as the place. So find those three codes, pause the video, and then unpause the video when you think you have the three codes and we're gonna go over them. Okay, so hopefully for the first code for the laceration, you have S01.81 and it tells us to use the XX and then the character A for initial. So our code would be S01.81 Eight, one, just one X for the sixth character, because we have five here, plus the A. So S01.81XA for initial encounter is what we code for our diagnosis of the laceration to the forehead. Next, we have to show how that laceration happened. So struck by a baseball is WT1. 0.03. Again, it tells us we need to add the sixth character, X, and the seventh for initial encounter. So struck by baseball would be WT1.03XA. And finally, we want to show that our patient was at a baseball field when she was struck. So that is the place of occurrence at a baseball field. So that would be Y92.320. We don't have to add a seventh character to that one. Right here, it just tells us to add a sixth, which we did. So Y92.320. So all three codes are needed for that scenario.